King of polygamy, Felakuti and his 28 wives. One of the greatest pioneers of the Afrobeat music genre, late Felakuti, whose full name is Fela Anikola Kuti, may have died over two decades ago. But his legacy remains and his star continues to shine brightly across the African globe and beyond. Felakuti was reported to have tied the knot with 27 women. He later divorced most of them towards the end of his life. These women all lived with him in his small village known as Kalakuta Republic. They were all proud to be called his women. In 1960, Fela got married for the first time ever to a woman known as Remile Kun Taylor. He met her during his days as a student at Trinity College in London. She was really truly the wife of his prime and his only fully recognized legal wife. She is also the mother to his three beautiful children, Fela and his 27 other wives. In 1978, 18 years after his first marriage, Fela Kuti went on ahead to marry 27 women in a traditional ceremony all at once. Most of the women he married worked with him and were his dancers, composers and backup singers. There were also women from diverse ethnic groups and different religions with different personalities. They were however all very educated and hardworking females from comfortable backgrounds. As a matter of fact, one of his wives received a scholarship from UNESCO to study. These women, when interviewed, revealed that they had no regrets being among his wives and actually had a lot of pride in that fact. According to him, his reason for marrying these women were mostly due to the fact that people were beginning to speculate that he had kidnapped them. They were living with him prior to the mass marriage and to quench the rumors that kept gaining momentum, he decided to marry them all. The marriage was also a significance of something tangible. It was a way of marking the territory of Kalakuta Republic in 1977. After the attack. In 1986, almost 10 years after he married these 27 women, he set out to divorce most of them. He revealed that the reason for his divorce was primarily because of the deep-rooted jealousy and selfishness that can be found in marriage, especially one as polygamous as he is was. Felakuti was definitely the man of the moment back in the 90s and even after all those years has passed and his death, his artistic space and robust personality is one that remains hard to replace. <laughs>